get, do some woke stuff uh, just to wake yourselves up because <laughs> it's always great in the middle of a global pandemic to think there are some people still doing stupid things in the art of wokery. Um, <laughs> and my particular attention was drawn to right. Merseyside Police, who yesterday, you would think they had more important things to do, but Merseyside Police launched a billboard which had this headline on it. Being offensive is an offence. What? Yeah. Yeah. Um, You're pretty offensive sometimes. Yeah, that makes me basically a walking... Does that mean I can report you to the police? I'm a walking crime sheet. Um, <laughs> yeah, apparently, being offensive is an offence. This, of course, is complete nonsense. Being offensive is not an offence. Is it because... Sorry, can I just intervene? And I, I don't know what the justification for that is. But, of course, sending people uh, offensive comments... No, no, I'm about instance, to come to the explanation. ..on the internet yeah. is an offence under the Malicious Communications no, no. Act. Is that causing, what they're referring to? Causing serious offence... Yes. ..can be illegal if, for example, the intention is to stir up hatred... Yeah. ..on the grounds of race, religion, sexuality or, as we discussed, death threats or whatever. Right? Absolutely. But to have a banner headline going around Merseyside saying Just, being offensive right. is an offence is clearly ridiculous. Right. They did it, uh, apparently. It was a, it was a shopping centre in Birkenhead on Saturday as part of Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual and Trans History Month. But even those whose interests the police were trying to apparently champion were critical. Novelist Simon Edge wrote, you've harmed gay people with this because it looks like we're demanding special treatment. Just get back to proper policing. Uh, veteran gay rights campaigner Peter Tatchman said the police had good intentions, but the slogan had been badly worded, you think? I mean, this is just utterly ridiculous. Um, Superintendent Martin Earl of World Police said we would like to clarify that being offensive is not in itself an offence. Well, we know that, so why do it? It's so yeah. ridiculous. Think more carefully, please. <sighs> just wandering around Merseyside telling the people <laughs> of Liverpool you can't crack funny jokes because they might offend people and you're a criminal. It's basically what some people will have read into that. Ridiculous. The world... The world's gone nuts! Um, but not quite as nutty <laughs> as this. So streets in a North Wales county <clears throat> can no longer be named after public figures, celebrities or other individuals in case they later become controversial. Well, it Councilors is a concern. have decided... The decision will also ease the burden on council officers who say they've often... I mean, for God's sake... It's because they wanted to call a close Piers Morgan... Close. Yes. And the, the, the trouble is, you know, mm. sometimes you do cause some people are some offence. Yeah. And they're worried that in the future they might have to rename it Susanna Reid Street. Yeah. This means you couldn't even have, for example, as one uh, critic of this said, mm. you couldn't even have a street named after Captain Sir Tom Moore. Why? Because in a hundred years' time somebody might say something that offends them about Captain... I mean, it's, this is preposterous. <laughs> of course you can. Oh. So we're, now pre, we're now pre-empting... There's nothing the, wrong with Captain Tom. We're now pre-empting the potential woke fury years or centuries down the line about naming a street. That means every street name will now become rather boring and safe, won't it? Or Which lovely is, and sweet and kind. And well, it won't, like though, will it? Reed it, won't, it won't, though, will it? Well, we I've know not that. done anything wrong. Huh? Susanna Reid Street, yeah. I could think of about 100 reasons why that would be cancelled. <laughs> huh? Really? Yes. I'm an open book. You, very much closed doors. Yes. Yes. Uh, there's another one here. This is, uh, I like just, it that way. You think this is what... You would honestly think we make this stuff up. We don't. It's true. A school has replaced its house names, honouring national heroes with ultra-woke icons. Now, let me just... Oh, say, come on. No, hang stop, on. Stop smearing no, people. Can you please let me finish? Ultra... Well, you go on and on and on Literally, and on. We've been on air. Let me start. We've been on air, what, 26 minutes? Yeah. All you've done is interrupt... Even All interrupt you've done is speak. Hard. So, when you smear people as ultra-woke... Yeah. Icons. Who are you calling ultra woke? Let me explain. If I, just let me finish. Yeah. Otherwise, how do people know what we're talking about? I They're know, leaping I think, in. I think no one's in any doubt about what you're talking. One of my about village mates went. God, things are getting testy with you. I went. Yeah, they are. <laughs> getting Increasingly testy. Irritable. They've been tested. Lockdown for irritation. Six years. Um, and anyway, Headley Headley Hill um, has dropped Admiral Nelson, Sir Francis Drake, and Sir Walter Raleigh as the names of houses because they're all apparently offensive. Um, the school, no, I've got no problem... Here we go. ..with the new names. Greta Thunberg, uh, Malala Yousafzai, uh, Marcus Rashford... Um, there we go. You can hardly call Marcus Rashford an ultra-woke no, that's icon. not the point. It's the decision-making mm. to remove three great national heroes because they're problematic. It came after one complaint from one student. 
about the historical problems associated with Nelson, Drake and Raleigh. To which I say, these are part of our history. And yeah, by all means, <laughs> if you want to have some new houses and schools named after current people, but I can tell Greta and Malala and Marcus, and they've even got uh, Joe Biden's inauguration poet, Amanda Gorman, it's fine. Oh, yeah? I can tell them all, enjoy your moment, because trust me, in 30 years' <laughs> time, someone's going to want you cancelled because they'll have looked back and gone, no, problematic, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, and that's the problem with yet? this. Everybody yeah. in the end oh, no, gets cancelled. Yeah. Uh, you don't agree? Yeah, I don't agree. And I'll tell you why. I don't know what the complaint was, but I well, can imagine... you should find out first before you comment. Uh, no. I can, I'm allowed to comment whatever I like. You can't cancel me just because You're I don't know all the You're about to comment on a story details. you haven't actually bothered to check, out, check what the story is. Well, so tell me what was the reason no, no, that they on. want them cancelled. Say what you want to say. So what I was going to say was, if I was in one of those houses, I might feel more inspired if mm. my house was named after Marcus Rashford mm. than after Sir Walter Raleigh. But you should be taught to understand why you should be inspired by the likes of Raleigh, Drake and Nelson, because they made this country the great country it is. Well, Marcus you Rashford should be taught, makes this country great. You should be taught a thing called history and reminding what made this country great and that these people are not all terrible people who have to be cancelled. Because I'm telling you, it will happen to this generation. Well, what was the reason generation. they were cancelled? What was offensive? That one pupil yeah, said... Yeah, but what was his, the reason that pupil There were historical problems associated with them. I mean, one pupil then has every house name changed. And I'm just making the point. The same thing will happen to today's heroes. If you let this happen, this cancel culture, then in a few decades' time, it'll be Marcus Rashford and Malala I just think and I... Greta Thunberg. All, by the mm. way, in their own way, not Marcus so much, but Malala and Greta, who I have great admiration for, actually, but they are controversial figures who, you know, people, a lot of people love them, a lot of people don't, for various reasons that I find mm. inexplicable, but they don't. But the point being, the ones who don't, they will fuel a sentiment over the years that they're problematic too then you have to change them. Um, the oh, headmaster right. apparently said they weren't part of the curriculum.